Oh my god, another video with the big eyes. Hell yeah, we are, we're just killing it with the glasses. So we're back with some more Rush Wars. We've made a lot of progress since my previous video, and there's this new overpowered strat that I can't wait to show you guys. If we go to my attack log, which doesn't show any attacks, oh, if we were able to see this, it would be all three stars. The attack strategy is pretty much running all troopers, and then for this spell, I would recommend you go with the heal spell or the booster, but since I have my first commander unlocked i've been abusing his ability because it's kind of like a free booster so if you don't have him yet just queue up all troopers and for the spell do a few with the heal do a few with the boost and see what works out for you in terms of my defense there's a few three stars but for the most part it's all like twos and one stars i think i made a pretty decent layout let's just go view the gold mine lately i've been using the plumbers and then in front of them i put the shield guys and then i have splash damage behind all that so the troops get distracted on the shields the plumbers come out and then i have the launcher and my mortar to deal splash damage before we do some attacks let's open up our two free boxes and then we can hop into some battles we want to find someone who doesn't have too much splash like in this part there's a launcher we have two of the grenaders and the mortar so all of our troopers there would just get absolutely abused you also want to find a base that doesn't have too many of the laser guys and I think a base like this can easily work out. So I like to put a majority of my troopers up front. I'm thinking let's do four on this half. And then I put two in the very back on the opposite lane. So we're going to start this up right now. And the goal is to heal as the splash damage is going to target your stuff. So we're going to put a heal down right here with the rage. And this is just going to shred through this guy. As you can see, we have the top troops up top. The bottom is completely done. And this dude just got absolutely annihilated. We're moving on to the final two stars. And just like that, it's an easy three star. The other day using this strategy, I reached top 200 in the United States. I took a screenshot of it and then stopped playing. I just kind of wanted to get to that top 200 mark. And using this strategy, it wasn't hard at all. So we're going to queue it up again. We're going to spend one diamond to heal up our commander. Look, look how sad he looks. Oh, here, here you go, buddy. Oh, now he's happy. Now this guy has two of the laser dudes. I usually usually skip a base unless there's like just one of them but the laser guys piss me off and it's kind of inconsistent a base like this though I think is definitely possible so when it comes to the laser guys what I do is I spread my troops out really weird like no particular pattern at all just something like this so we're gonna get the heal spell ready any second now once we see they're about to target our troops we're gonna rage them up and now let's get our first heal spell down so this laser guy he went down just like that the whole top half of this base is done and there's only only that mortar left and it's just so easy to overwhelm bases with this strategy if you're just doing attacks back to back to back you can be getting like six stars per minute it's super fast super efficient and i definitely recommend you all try this out my original plan with this strategy was putting two sets of troopers in front and two in the back but i was running into a lot of people using bombs lately so i've been using one in front like a decoy two on the sides and then one in the back sort of like a plus and then on the other lane i just put two in the very back row so let's get this strategy started we're gonna get the heal spell down right for when this grenader's about to throw those at them So we break through the first wall. We push up top. We're taking care of that We're taking a little bit of a pounding But still all of our troops survived and we're moving on to the final star. It's just super easy It doesn't take any skill at all and if there's one strategy I would recommend to you it would definitely be this one. Oh, and we can also upgrade our booster. Unfortunately, though, I'm just trying to save up for my next heal upgrade. Potentially, oh, we can get the commander upgraded. 1500 that's a bit pricey, but I think that's definitely worth it. And then the other thing I'm trying to save my gold up for is going to be our troopers. Now, you really have to be careful on bases like this. Because if there's two splash units right next to each other, if they both hit a group of troopers at the same time, the heal spell won't actually be fast enough to heal them up. And more often than not, your troops are just going to die from direct impact. So whenever I see something like this or that, uh, I usually just skip it. It's okay to search. Take your time. Find a base that you know you can smash. And look who we found. This poor guy. So again... We get one set in front. We make a little plus shape. If you don't have the commander, don't worry about that. You get two on the other lane and you start it. If there are mines, which I think we may run into some, it usually doesn't disturb us. So we have the heal spell down. Honestly, we really didn't even need that there. I don't think the launcher even got to shoot us once. And then the mortar was too distracted on my commander. This dude just got absolutely ran up on. I feel like this video may get boring because 
We're just smacking people so easily. Oh, wow. And if you look at that, we are top 200 again. We're 192 in the United States right now. I didn't even check this. My, my defense must have been pretty good overnight. And I don't think too many people run this strategy. I figured it out because I was looking at how people were three-starring me. And two people in a row had used the same strategy. So I'm like, well... If they're doing it, I might as well give it a shot. And sure enough, it's sick. Another victim. You guys know how it's done. You get the same strat down, and then you get two more in the back, and you start it. Now, the reason I put two on the other lane is because those guys kind of come in at the perfect time and clean up the other half. Like, that turret is distracted on the bottom group, so the top one, they can just kind of get in there and do their own thing. We have our ability ready again. We take care of the mortar before it even shoots. And again, another three star. This is super easy to use. Like for real, if you haven't tried this out yet, you better do it. Also, I've been getting some comments like, yo dude, Rush Wars isn't available. How did you download it? I posted a tutorial on how to download Rush Wars in any country and on any device. So if you missed that, I'll be sure to link it in my description below. And another victim about to go down. So on this guy, we're gonna do something a little bit different. Since he has everything like in a middle line, just straight down, Instead of putting those troops in the back, we're going to put them kind of close up as well. I'm kind of afraid of his splash here. So we're going to get the rage down early, put the heal down so that way when the mortar shoots and the rocket launcher, we can kind of heal through that. And right here, we just, we overran him again. I don't know if the strategy is supposed to be this broken or what. For the longest time, I was trying to do like a collection of troops. I would bring some shield men, some zookas, and I was trying to figure out what can get me the most stars the fastest. But this is literally the most simple solution, and I think a lot of people will probably overlook it. So this loser has the laser guy, aka the best dude on defense. So on a base like this, remember, you just get all of your troops spread out. Spread them out kind of weird. Don't even do it in a pattern. Just put everything down in in my thing just stopped recording right now. Why did my thing stop recording? What's going on? How much footage did I just lose there, man? When in doubt, realize there's always an alternative. Okay, so I'm using the built-in screen recorder on my iPad. I don't know how much footage I lost. Last time I checked, I was showing you that I was top 200 in the United States, and then I think we started a battle. My Elgato, it was recording my iPad, and then the next thing I know, it just stopped. So on a base like this, we have the plumbing system. So I like to activate this a bit late. So when you're attacking someone like this, it's really crucial to have that second set going at the very end because plumbers can overwhelm you real quickly. Let's break through these walls. We're gonna put the heal down as the mortar is gonna fire at us. So boom, there goes the heal. Perfect timing. We're coming up here. His plumbing system is destroyed. And now we're just gonna completely rage up, knock that mortar out and push towards the HQ. I'm still pretty salty as to why my device stopped recording, but what can you do? Oh wow, this was a good box. What what kind of box was this? Look how much stuff I'm getting right now. What? What what kind of box is this? I need to take a screenshot. Wow, we had 1,700 trophies. Let's do uh, a few more battles. Let's get 50 keys. That's all I'm spending my gems on. I did spend 150 gems to uh, get enough gold to upgrade my chopper. 150 gems gave me 5,000 gold, and I spent 50 gems to get five keys, so it was pretty worth it. Now, this dude does have the laser. I believe my recording stopped when I was attacking a laser. So you just want to spread your troops out super ugly. Don't do any particular pattern at all. If there's a pattern, the laser dude will smash your face. So you get this. We are going to use the launcher. If you ever see a big bomb, don't even waste your time and try to heal through that because the big bomb will just absolutely smash you. Now right here, this is actually a pretty sketchy battle, but we will still get the three star. We're onto the mortar now. Laser dude nearly fried us. We had the bomb destroy some troops. Definitely the most sketchy in the video. We are going to be wrapping up today's video here though. I just wanted to show you this awesome strategy. Like going to my attack log, you can see all the three stars I'm getting. We push top 200 in the US with it. And even if you don't have the commander unlocked, that's no worry at all. You can just try swapping out your spell for the booster or you can try the heal yourself. Remember, you want to split your troops up four on one side, two on the other. And if there's the laser guy, scatter your troops around. So guys, this has been Eclipse. Thank you for watching today's Rush Wars video and peace out.